Hi all I hope you guys are doing great welcome to a typical day in my life working a 9 to 5 as a financial portfolio manager in London although i have quite a traditional office job since the covid i work from home a lot more than i used to but still i go to office a couple of times a week let's spend the day together We need to send our kids to school and also we have to get ready to work. Party has started making breakfast. I just finished my yoga and meditation. It's very, very refreshing. So with that note, I'm going to make a very healthy morning drink for me. I'll show you how I make it. Come on. I'm going to take you with me to my workplace today in central London. Come with me guys. Party is making breakfast scrambled eggs for kids. He makes a very fluffy and soft scrambled eggs. What is the secret for that, Parthi? Any What? secret ingredient apart <laughs> from salt and pepper? Yes, of course. What is it? You have to add a little <laughs> bit of milk. Add a little bit of milk, milk. and then beat it nicely. Yeah. That gives, makes it very soft, isn't it? Yeah. Soft and fluffy. Little bit of milk. I'm boiling some ginger water here. Just ginger and water I'm boiling. Once I boil this, and then I let it cool for a little bit. When it's lukewarm, I add some lemon, half a lemon juice, and then a teaspoon of honey as well. It really detoxifies your body. After the exercise in the morning, it's really refreshing drink. Many of you asked me how I am able to do this YouTube work and also managing the house because I don't have any cleaner in my house. We do everything on our own. I have a full-time job also and two kids at home. <laughs> the reason I am able to manage everything is because of this man. <laughs> he does. He shares everything at home, taking care of the kids, giving them food, cooking, cleaning, everything. Literally everything we share together. That's the only reason I am able to do. without him helping me this much at home i can't do all this on my own it's not at all possible you know when husband and wife work together at home everything doing everything it reduces a lot of stress for women believe me women are so stressed out i know because i'm seeing lot of my friends like that suffering like that they have to do everything on their own please consider this will you this is salt and pepper packet salt and pepper the seasoning Seasoning. Yes. I don't need less pepper. Susie mm -hmm. doesn't mm -hmm. like much spices. Mm -hmm. Very little pepper. So it is so fluffy and amazing color as well. And my drink is also getting ready. Girls, breakfast is ready. Come down. Okay. I have to get ready now. I have to take shower and get ready to work. I'll be eating my breakfast in the train, but I've already made it. This is my strawberry and oatmeal parfait breakfast. With a few simple ingredients, we can make a healthy breakfast on the go. It comes together in minutes. Trust me. I made it last night to make my life easier in the morning. I've added granola, Greek yogurt, honey, and strawberries. Simple. Ducky, ducky, ducky! <laughs> It is Susie's. On the way to office now. When both parents are working, we need a good childcare system. In that way, we are very lucky. We have had an amazing child mind. When my kids were toddlers. Even today, she's like a second mom to my kids. She's amazing. Nowadays, since we both work from home a lot, we manage it between ourselves to drop the kids at school and pick them up. We are now reaching London Bridge Station. Today, I'm going to show you my typical work day. They won't be the same every day. It depends on the meetings I have on that day. Sometimes I juggle between my offices. We have work locations in a few places in London. Mm -hmm. 
but I always start my day very early and finish it early as well. I prefer it that way. It's my personal preference, I guess, so that I can spend some time with my kids in the evening. Uh, we love eating dinners together. It is very important for us. Sometimes, if I don't bring breakfast from home, I buy it here from M&S. They have amazing breakfast selection, very healthy options as well. I just love their berry compote. It's my favorite. My office is near London Bridge. Even though I see it all the time, the architecture here really amazes me. It is rich in history and also it has got a lot of great after work spots. Whether you are looking for a nice restaurant or street food market or a trendy bistro to hang out with your colleagues after work, it's a wonderful place. I would love to show the bridge but I don't have time right now. I have to run to office. I'm running a late little bit. But I'll show you the area around after I finish my work and when I go home, definitely. Packed up all my gym clothes in this my gym bag and I'm going. Now, meetings were a bit stressful today. But gym is always a great stress buster for me and I have booked a kickboxing lesson today. It makes me feel so good going to gym before lunch. On my way to gym, I will show you this place. There are some historically very important places here. I will show you on the way. This is the Monument Tube Station. I used to take tube from here when we lived in Hunslow many years ago. Can you see behind the station? That is the monument which commemorates one of the most significant events in London's history. Sad event actually is the monument for lives lost at the Great Fire of London in 16th century. At that time most buildings in the city were made of wood and fire has started from bakery nearby and spread to the entire area within no time at all. It is such a sad event. A lot of people have lost their houses and actually it has taken them nearly 50 years, can you believe 50 years to rebuild the burnt area of the city after the great fire of London. I thought I must show it to you guys on my way to the gym. And behind this monument there is a small street food area here. There are big street markets like Barrow Market, Arcade Food Hall, Broadway Market, Seven Dials Market. There are many. South Bank Centre, that's also very popular. Lots of them. London's food markets are so popular. But you can find these kind of small pop food places in many areas. Just a few shops that sells lunch. It's quicker and you get many options other than just sandwiches and salads. It's an amazing workout. Let's go and get some lunch now. Sometimes I bring lunch from home, pack lunch, but today I haven't brought anything, so I have to buy something today. I'm here at Pratt to buy my lunch. They make lovely salads. Let me see what's special today. Chicken salad, Italian chicken salad. I'm a vegetarian. That looks like falafel. Vegetarian looks like vegetarian. Oh, yes, 
it is vegetarian hummus and falafel salad it is vegetarian good i just love falafel <laughs> Uh, I love their cheese toasty as well. Where is cheese toasty? Um, smoked salmon. Lots of options for non-vegetarians. There is cheese toasty. <laughs> That's one of my favorites as well. But I want to eat vegetables today. I love eating near the riverside. It's my favorite thing to do. It's like having a little picnic for yourself. But there is a downside as well eating near River Thames. There will be a lot of tourist crowd in this area. But you know what? I kind of like sitting there eating my lunch and watching people enjoying themselves. I love it. I've got a client meeting this afternoon. I'm not going back to my head office again. I'll just go to the client's office. I'll have to wait for a colleague to join me there. So I can use the waiting time for my lunch. And after the meeting, I'm not going back to my office again. It's home time. Going to the meeting now my friend is walking in front of me we have got 10 more minutes so i told him we'll go a little bit slower so i can show this place around for you My meeting is done now. I'm going to go home. I've got a lot of time left. It was a quick meeting, but I'm not going back to my office. I'm going to show you around here. I'm going to walk to Waterloo Station. And on the way, there are so many historical, beautiful, beautiful places. I'll show you around. I'm going to go by walk. This place is absolutely thriving with all kinds of different food markets from big tourist havens to smaller, lesser known cozy spots. This street market is close to London Bridge. You can see the row of tents all the way along the curve. This spot is loved by office workers. From Monday to Friday, you can get tasty lunches and unique delicacies like different varieties of cheeses, meats and olives, cakes, everything. If I'm not going to the gym in the afternoon, I love to wander around these food stalls. I just love it. As lunchtime begins, crowds slowly begin to flock to the market with the queue quickly developing. Now it's not much of a crowd because it's the evening.
you want to see the real London, you have to go through the alleyways and small roads like this. You'll find a lot of tiny little pubs and cafes, barista places. It's just amazing. Usually I take train from London Bridge but uh, today since I've got a lot of time left to pick up my kids from school, I'm just enjoying this riverside walk. I love walking alone. <laughs> it helps to process my thoughts or simply gives time to allow my mind to wander. After seeing all these cafes has made me crave for tea and some lovely cake. <laughs> Can I also have a cup of tea? This is apple sesame butter cake. I've never had it before. Let's see. Can you see the London Eye behind me? I'm sitting right there. If you happen to be meeting someone to work with, this is also a lovely place to meet for tea, coffee and for some yummy cakes. I could sit here for hours watching everyone running around, but I need to go home now. This Leak Street Arches is so popular for its urban art. It's under the Waterloo Station. Isn't it a beautiful graffiti art? Let's go home now. Kitchen is not that bad looking. It's okay, it's neat. <laughs> they left the kitchen neat in the morning, my hubby and kids. Oh, but look, <laughs> they've left the plate with crumbs on it in the sink because I never leave it in the sink. I always put it in the dishwasher, but that's okay. <laughs> I can do that. When both wife and husband are working, there are a few things, you know. When kids come back from school, it'll be very busy. You have to give them healthy snack and you won't have any time. You know, over the years, I've learned a few things, few meal prep things, which makes my life a lot easier. I'm going to show you one of them today. It's very healthy and it's a very yummy snack also. My kids empty their plate whenever I give that. I prepared it last night because yesterday we both were working from home so i made it and stored it in the fridge i'm going to cook it very fast because it's already pre-prepped and i'm going to make a very healthy snack for me also that's also really quick i'll show you how i make it i prepared this cauliflower cheese bake last night see this is just cut cauliflower it's not half cooked and all it's just raw cauliflower and i made some fresh cheese sauce last night and I've just mixed it with some salt and pepper. That's it. It's a very yummy recipe. The sauce I actually made from scratch. 
not store bought it's a very healthy cheese sauce it's so simple to make it i'll tell you the cheese sauce for one cauliflower the amount for one cauliflower we harvested it in our back garden only it was really big cauliflower nice and healthy i used one cup of grated cheddar cheese the normal grated cheddar cheese which you get in all stores all supermarkets and then i added half cup of milk with it then i used one tablespoon of plain wheat flour i didn't use any starch or anything else just three ingredients for the cheese sauce cheddar cheese milk and one spoon of wheat flour that's it you just boil it until it gets to the nice thick sauce and then mix it with the cauliflower it's all done you just have to put it in a tray and then shove it in the oven <laughs> in 200 degree celsius 180 to 200 degree celsius for about um, 17 18 to 20 minutes it'll be really nice very healthy and tasty also veggies for making my snack it's going to be a healthy snack this is just for me because party will be coming home only for dinner so not for him just for me i've got some capsicum and the green chilies i've got lot of green chilies the whole green chili of this size because it doesn't have any spice it's not a hot chili it's kind of a sweet chili so i have a lot of chili and then this is coriander leaves chopped coriander leaves and some tomatoes as well and a little bit of onion i'm going to make my snack now i sprouted these moong dal see how beautifully they have sprouted they were sprouted at home it is so easy to sprout them and it's very very healthy protein rich and i'm going to add some peanuts roasted at home see just now i roasted it they contain a lot of protein as well i'm going to mix them both snack is getting ready i'll show you it will be really cheesy and i'll have a bite as well definitely i love cheese <laughs> party said he'll be coming home a little bit early so after the kids finish up i have time before starting dinner cauliflower cheese bake is done see how it's sizzling can you hear it <laughs> it is so cheesy as well the sauce has come out really nice kids are going to love it I'm making pearl millet dosa for dinner. I'm not going to make any chutney for this. I've got the idli puri that my mom made. I'm going to use it. It's a very yummy idli puri. Mm -hmm. 